Well, I am out there making it another great day. I am in Tarpon Springs once again, and I have discovered uh, the Tarpon Springs Train Museum. And this is a pretty large shop. It's free admission. And we're going to go inside and check out this old classic train museum. And it's even housed and looks like a train depot. I'll show you outside of that a little bit at the end of this. Let's go inside, and that's coming at you right now. I am just inside the Tarpon Springs Historical Society's um, museum here, the train museum, and they've got some luggage out here on display uh, and an old ticket window here selling uh, when they used to sell the tickets. Here is yet another pot belly stove, and this one's a pretty nice one. Uh, this is what heated the train depot way back in the day, and this place has been here. Uh, in full operation. It was full operation for a hundred years. They have a they have a large-scale model here of the original Orange Belt Railroad Station. Uh, it was constructed uh, way, way back. Uh, it says it was built in 1888 and it burned in 1908 and uh, that is not the building we're in now. But this was another another train depot and they have a big large-scale, very large-scale model of this one and it burnt to the ground in 1908. They've even got photographs here of the train station renovation when they renovated the place and turned it into this historical museum. And there's a lot of photos here of that process uh, years ago. It says here on this display, back in the day of beauty, and they have a lot of different artifacts from barber shops and beauty salons. Here's an old, old barber chair. I have found some barber stuff here. Here's a hair crimper. I've never seen a hair crimper. That is pretty interesting. I have found something here interesting. Uh, that's the old type of, you know, with the curling irons of today. These are these clamps that these women put on their head, into their hair, these wire clamps, and they plug it in. Uh, that looks electrifying. I am in the back here of the Tarpon Springs Train Depot Museum, and it used to be an actual train depot, and this is the ticket window, original ticket window, they tell me, here uh, in, this, in this museum, and they have the old adding machines here, back vintage uh, adding machines. Uh, they get a little information on all of these. Here's some store scales, and here's another adding machine that was donated by uh, the Saunders family, it says. And I do show a lot of vintage cash registers, and here is no exception. This was at the Tarpons department store. It was established in 1911. It was a cash register from that shop, and uh, they have it here on display. Lots of cool stuff in here to look at, uh, all about this train depot in its early days. They have an old railroad crossing sign here, a little mini one. This must be a replica probably, but uh, pretty cool. Here's a very old railroad crossing sign. It says, stop, look, and listen. And um, not too many people look these days or listen. So no wonder there's so many railroad crashes. So next time you're out there and you see that railroad, Make sure you do that. I'm going to go all the way back here into the back. There's so much to look at on the walls here with photographs and stuff. Uh, and it's a free museum. Um, they tell me that the train depot that was here started in 1887 and uh, closed in 1987 when the trains went out and the Historical Society took over and uh, started this museum. There's a lot of vintage furniture and stuff in here, and they tell me some of this was donated. There's an old Victrola, an old, uh, some old baby carriages and bassinets. Here's one of these old Singer sewing machines. I remember my grandmother, she had one like this, and I had it for a long time until I gave it to my cousin. They kind of got this in section. They have the war years back here when the wars was going on, and uh, some army uniforms, vintage army uniforms here on display. Uh, along with uh, a bunch of army gear and stuff that was used back during the war. They have some big sponge boats back here on display. It's on loan from uh, some people that actually own this boat, these boats here. And uh, 
As you know, Tarpon Springs is known for their sponge docks, and I did a video there, and that is a great place to check out as well. Well, I have never seen a fire hydrant inside of a building, but they have one here. I guess it's just for display purposes only. It says building Tarpon Springs. I'm assuming these are just some tools and things. It does look like uh, from way back, some old, old tools. They even have the paramedics and the firefighters uh, little and the police force and uh, showing their respect to them with some vintage badges and vintage items. Uh-oh, they have, could it be moonshine? Does look like it might be a moonshine jug. I actually have a moonshine jug. It looks just like that, different color at my home. They have a vintage dentist chair here. I have never seen one quite that old. That. That is an old dentist chair right there for sure. And they've even got the old uh, bottles from early medicine bottles from way back in the day. That's pretty cool as well to check out and see. They also have an old uh, medical satchel here from back when the doctors probably went to your house and uh, did a house call. And lots of other surgical items here from syringes and stuff from years ago. This is a pretty big... Uh, Pretty big building, a lot of artifacts here to look at. Uh, back here in this uh, train museum. Uh, it's more of a historical museum of Har uh, Tarpon Springs, I do believe. It does look like they have some old seats here from the old train depot, uh, possibly back in the day. And uh, somebody has left their hat. They've left their hats here. Looks like they did some bowling as well back in the 50s and 60s here in Tarpon Springs, as most of the country did. and. Bowling is making a comeback, and uh, those lanes are they're still hot. They have an old school stop sign. Uh, I'm assuming that the crossing guards held these, uh, telling you to stop when uh, they had school children walking across the street way, way back. This is an old one right here. Lots of historical pictures and stuff here. Here's the football team and some of the schools and stuff. Uh, here in Tarpon Springs, just like about any other community. They have handmade lace here, made oh, it's over 100 years old, here on display in this case, along with a lot of other uh, clothing artifacts here, some old dresses down there as well. They even have a podium in this, uh, in this museum. I'm not sure why they need a podium here. Maybe they do lectures and speeches in here talking about the history or something. I'm not sure. They even have some uh, movies that was shot here in Tarpon Springs. They had the old TV show Sea Hunt uh, at Sunset Beach. It does look like shot there. And uh, here's Robert Wagner in a movie called Beneath the Twelve Mile Reef. Never heard of that film, but I know who Robert Wagner is. They've even got the call sheets and stuff here for the film. It looks like this old saloon building that was on Tarpon Avenue, which was built in 1905. It originally contained two grocery stores and a saloon and a meat market and a barbershop in its five stores. Uh, later on, back in 1953, the building then called Luis, uh, Luis Saloon. It was used for the fight scene in the movie uh, Beneath the 12 mile, mile Reef, which was filmed on location right here in Tarpon Springs, starring uh, Robert Wagner uh, with some other uh, actors. Uh, the other actor I know on there is Peter Graves. So that's pretty pretty cool. It still remains as uh, a restaurant today, they say. And they tell me that the floors here is all the original floors that was in this train depot uh, that was here 100 years servicing with trains up until 1987 when it became a museum. They have some old uh, postal boxes here from the old post office uh, back in 1961. Uh, I remember these back in my hometown looked just like these way, way back, and they didn't get rid of them either. I think they still have them. Well, there's a lot of people showing up here today. I am getting ready to leave, and this is my little tour here at the train depot here at the Historical Society at uh, Tarpon Springs. And I like going to places like this. This is always a fun time uh, to come and check these places out and absolutely free. I talked to this lady in here for a little while, looked around, lots of interesting stuff. You learn something new when you go to places like this and just to 
relax and spend the day and uh, I enjoy doing that and discovering new places. Uh, is there a place you want to see me go? Leave me a comment. Um, I'm always finding new places. There's so many places to eat. I don't want to be showing your restaurant reviews all the time, but I do enjoy eating and I do enjoy the mom and pop places and the local businesses and the museums and there's just so many things to do here in Central Florida. I, I just can't get to everything and I want to go do uh, on a weekly basis even, uh, it seems. Eventually I do get to these places. Uh, do appreciate all you subscribers. Keep hitting that subscribe button. We, uh, we get a lot of views every month. I think this past month we got about 20,000 total views on this channel. Uh, and I, I can't thank you enough for that. And I do do this for fun. On the side from booking appearances for Sonny Schroyer from Dukes of Hazard and Chris Hensel from Dukes of Hazard. And um, got a lot of projects I'm working on and uh, taking care of. And I do work full time. So uh, I'm going to go out and try to find something else to show you, bring to you, bring you some information. Try to be a little funny at times. Uh, I, I love to make comments and usually they happen when I see something that will remind me of something so then I, I comment. Uh, just how I've always been and my dad was kind of like that so maybe that's where I get it. But uh, always go out there, find places like this, go eat at a local mom and pop shop, support the local businesses in your area. Uh, and when you come here to Florida, come and check these places out. Uh, remember, go out there, make it a great day because you deserve it.